Hello, 090 students. Still continuing on in 2-6, but this time we're building up fractions to new denominators. And uh, what I mean by that is we're going to fill in the blank here and solve for this missing piece right there. So sometimes there could be a variable here, like an n or an x or something like that, but we're just going to leave it blank because that's how it is. To get this number, you can cross multiply and do all this and that, but really the best way and over the, all the years I've been doing this, the easiest way I've seen people do it and the popular way that people like to do it on tests is like this. You say to yourself, what do I multiply 7 by to get 49? And that is, of course, 7 because 7 times 7 is 49. So you multiply the top by that 7 too and get 35. I know of no other slicker, easier way to do that. Let me show you that one more time in this example. What do you multiply 9 by to get 81? That's Now, that is like saying 81 divided by 9 is 9. But if you just get in the habit of saying 9 times what is 81, 9 times 9 is 81. So 7 times 9 is 63. Remember, knowing your times tables super important. Next example. Um... The directions on this is a little bit different. It says find the LCD and build up the fractions to the LCD. Well, we don't have the LCD, so we got to find it. Um, and remember the steps. If you don't know the steps, watch the other video. So you take the big number, try to divide the small one into it. If it does not work, you take 20 times 2. You start m taking multiples until it does work. And, of course, 8 goes into 40. So this is the LCD. So you come down here and you write 40 and 40, and then you basically just do this process right there again. Put this back up there. Boom. Okay, so you say 20 times what is 40, and of course, 20 times, and I'm on the wrong thing, awesome. 20 times 2 is 40, so 19 times 2 is 38. This one, 8 times 40. 5 is 40, so 7 times 5 is 35. So that's how you would fill in the top numbers. And we call this building up fractions. And the reason you do this is you have to do it every time you add and subtract fractions. See you later.